Hey there, good morning. Today I wanted to show a, a little bit more about ChatGPT. I know lots of people are talking about it, I but so am I, because it really is the way we're going. So today I decided to do a little bit of a, a fun project. I, I have GPT-4, I signed up for the premium. I, I wanted to test something. People have been talking about how you can use photos to create things, to allow it to reference the photo. Uh, so I wanted to create a full website I, using just a reference image. So here's my reference image. So I wanted to create a professional website for myself that talked a little bit about me and had a way to contact me. So this is the reference image. I wanted to uh, pretend that I don't know anything about programming. I, I do know a bit. I am definitely nowhere near a professional, I, but I have a basic understanding of programming and I have done a bit in the past. So I have slightly more experience than some, but not a whole lot, which you'll see in a second when you'll, I, I had a bit of an error. All right, so I, I first uploaded the photo into Imager so that the GPT-4 could see it. And I started off by telling it to reference the photo for the rest of the conversation. So I'm not gonna do this in real time because it takes uh, GPT-4 a good bit to actually spit out all this code. So it was a good five minutes of waiting for each one so that would be very slow in a long video. So I asked it, and uh, I uh, asked it to create a personal website for a person named Adam Melrose. And I told uh, it that this is, I told the AI that this is the photo that I want to use for reference. And I told it that I need to start from scratch. Nothing there. Please give me all the code I need. So HTML and CSS. So... I'm going to show you each version and iteration to show you sort of what I did and what I changed. And I'll show you the mistake I made. So this was the first one it provided. Uh, it provides it as a, an index file, HTML, tells you how to name it, tells you how to, to do it inside a notepad. Uh, and then it has a CSS file. So I'm going to show you version... Let me start with version 1. So you're going to see something funny here. I, I had to go back and fix it because... I actually saved my styles file as a .html, which I did not realize was my issue until I got to, I think, version 3. And you'll see the question down below. I figured it out myself, but I modeled the question as though I didn't know anything about styles.css files. I, it, so you'll see. But I wanted to fix it for each version so you can see what the, uh, what the AI actually spit out had I named my file correctly, styles.css, uh, as opposed to styles.html. So this is what it gave me the first time. It's not bad. Uh, it, it doesn't have the contact me. It has contact up here, but no contact me form. Uh, it has the menu bar up above as opposed to down below it. But the rest of it's pretty good. So then I asked it. So here's where you can see where I'm already making my mistake. I said it doesn't look quite right. I, I fixed one error that I really did have wrong which I wanted it to say Adam Elrose above the icons, and then I wanted the contact me form next to the about at Adam, because you can see it's here, as opposed to just a contact me button. I And then I, so you'll see that uh, GPT also said, it's very, very basic. There's lots of room for improvement. So I said, go ahead, go ahead and uh, improve it, uh, and then give me all the code again. So it added containers, created a two-column layout, and then added some more basic style. So here is version two. So you're gonna see again, same mistake. I still had, I went back and fixed it just so I can show you what it actually gave, but I, I was doing styles.html as opposed to styles.css. So I was still not seeing any styling on, for version two. So here's what version two looked like. It's already getting much better. You got the menu in the correct place. Contact me is in the correct place. About me is in the correct place. Okay, you know, it's actually looks pretty similar to this. So, of course, I am still confused because it's not looking like this on my end. I, it's it's looking like, here, let me, let me show you what it was actually looking like to me. So let me, let me just move this out just so we can take a look. So it was looking like this to me. No styling. So I was confused. Like, well, okay, it's got a contact me thing now, but it's still in the wrong order. So let me put this back to where it belongs. So then I then I ask ChatGPT, I say, contact me is still below the about Adam for some reason. It's not, you know, it's actually, that's not true. That was me being uh, bad at programming. So I asked it again to put it side by side. 
And it's interesting, GPT says he apologized for the layout issue, even though it's not technically incorrect. That That, that is one uh, flaw I've seen here. I, so I say put it left to right, add some color, make the menu bar a different color, uh, and then it, I, it, again, spits out all the code. So again, each one of these takes about five minutes to spit out. But it's got every bit of code. You can click, click copy code, put it directly into the file, hit save, and it'll work. So then I get to... This is... So I, I figure out my error right here because as I watch it start typing it out, I see it does the link to the style sheet, styles.css. So I was like, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I typed that incorrectly. So then here I say, okay, for some reason I can't see the colors. I'm pretending like I didn't know what, what was wrong. I'm pretending I get the version three, still incorrect, can't figure out what's wrong. So I say, okay, I can't see the colors. The menu bar is still in the wrong spot. Why do you think I might be having this issue? And then this is chat GPT actually, it gives a very good answer. So it says, it may be related to the link. Please ensure that styles.css is in the right folder. So this is when I would have figured it out had I not uh, accidentally seen the correct uh, link.css with the styles. You see, look at this, it says href styles.css. So I, at this point, I think most people that have a little bit of understanding would have figured out what the problem was you've, that you've got a misnamed file. So it says if you still have the issue, check it again. And if you still can't figure it out, I, it'll help. So I did, you know, I said I was able to fix it. So here is what version 3 looked like. So vi version 3 looks like this. We got blue up here. We got some styling to the boxes. Okay, it's, it's starting to come along. And then finally, I decided let's do one more iteration. I said, let's say... Let's, uh, what what changes does you know? It, it's an it's an AI, so it can make suggestions. So far, I've just been feeding it the really basic stuff, just to get something on the page. But you know, the whole idea is that the AI can help you make decisions as opposed to just implement them. So I said, uh, give me some numbered suggestions about what changes you think would be best to add next. And it says add a favicon, responsive design for uh, media in inquiries, custom fonts, hover effects. Uh, icons, background images or gradients, social media, uh, YouTube thumbnails, smooth scrolling, and a sticky header. So some of these would be a little more effort than others, so I decided to do a couple of the easier ones. I said, let's do hover effects, and let's do a gradient. So then it gives, it, it's, it, give, it gave me the code and was telling me to replace stuff. So it's like, replace the current header styles with this updated version. I could, I could do that. I understand what that means. But again, taking this from the perspective of someone who doesn't program, I said, could you just give me the whole the whole file, the whole updated file? I don't want to start trying to replace things. So then, you know, this was faster. This only took it a minute. I, I assume that was why it gave it to me like this, because it's just the, the changes and the additions. So I said, please give me the whole file. And, you know, this, this is starting to get a little lengthy. I, so that took about five minutes again. And then I copied, pasted, and then we've got, finally got version four. So let's see, I think we can go through the versions. So one, that's the broken one. This was the first, second, third, and then finally fourth. So it's got the, you know, it, it fixed the big change here was it fixed this in the last one. I, I, I'm pretty impressed. This is not quite usable. It's still extremely ugly. I could ask for more additions, but I could already tell this video was going to go way too long if I kept playing with it. So I decided just to sort of end it here, just to give you a really basic idea. Uh, you could of course add if you had to actually upload it if you didn't know what you were doing. Then you could ask ChatGPT, how do I upload this to the internet? What do I need to do? Where do I put it? It can do all that. Uh, but I really, the purpose of this was to show taking it from a photo to finished result with a, without doing any actual coding. And pretending again, like I under, I know what the parts of a website are, but I don't actually know how to program. That was the perspective I was trying to take. So I hope that this video was interesting. I am probably going to end up doing more uh, AI videos moving forward.
will be my guess. I'm going to continue doing some tutorial type videos, but I, I am uh, particularly interested in, the, in these kind of uh, topics. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.